ex-terrorist al-Qaeda in Syria being led by who? CIA. This is from Paul Joseph Watson. And this has to do with former al-Qaeda member Sheikh Nabil Naim. Uh, his release an astounding video testimony in which he asserts that the leader of the uh, Jabhat al nasir the primary fighting force in Syria attempting to topple Basir al-Assad, is a CIA operative. Uh, he said, and this is a quote, I personally believe the leader of the Nusra army who declared his support for Amin al-Zawari is a CIA operative, states the, states the sheikh. Uh, Naim also identified al-Qaeda leader Ayam al-Zawari as a U.S. double agent. No, duh. Uh, there was a story a few years ago that Fox released that talks about, um, was it Zakari? No, who, Anwar al-Awlaki, that's who it was. Anwar al-Awlaki dined at the Pentagon right after 9-11. Then he became the number two of al-Qaeda. Then we had to take him and his son out with a drone strike in Yemen without even getting him a trial. And his son was only 16 years old, obviously a threat to America. Uh, moving back on to the story, uh, Naim states that the U.S. has been allowing um, al-Qaeda to fight in Afghanistan for 18 years and have funded and supported us, adding that members of the militant group were being manipulated. And he also put out a warning saying, listen guys, after America takes over Syria, they're going to come after you guys. So you're fighting for America, and we're going to go to that video now. فبعد أن عدنا من أفغانستان تم اعتقالنا بحجة أننا إرهابيون طب ما أمريكا سيبان بن قتل 14 سنة You can watch the full video in the article on Infowars.com Ex-terrorist Al-Qaeda in Syria being led by CIA and that's from Paul Joseph Watson a tireless fighter in the Infowar we actually had him on here yesterday doing the Infowars nightly news I think his first since he's got back from Bilderberg. And uh, it was great to have him on. And he had a story talking about how is Snowden a double agent, which is a very interesting prospect, considering the amount of information he got and the way he got it and the way he's acting. I personally believe that Snowden, Edward Snowden is a whistleblower. He might have been profiled and they might have given him this information in order and knowing that he would go and do this after being profiled by the CIA. Anytime you become an employee of the CIA, you go through rigorous tests, psychological tests, uh, personality tests, behavior tests. Anytime you get up into a high level like that, those types of tests are going on. So they, they can identify who would be a potential whistleblower, who won't um, you know, follow orders, who won't torture, who won't arrest, uh, secret arrest and indefinitely detain people. They know who to out at the right time. So that's the way people are being manipulated. Uh, this is from Kurt Nimmo, Judge Outlaw's First Amendment and Bank Graffiti Case. And this is a, a guy who was going around on chalk and uh, using chalk to write in front of Bank America stuff like, no thanks, big banks, shame on Bank of America. Really hardcore messages like that. Well, anyway, a, a high-ranking security bank manager contacted the police uh, and the San Diego City t Attorney decided to prosecute this man here. His name is... Jeff Olson, charged with 13 counts of vandalism and faces time in prison for his ex expressing his opinion on a public sidewalk using chalk that will wash away in the rain. Um, Judge Howard Shore said the messages were directed uh, at the banking industry have nothing to do with the First Amendment. In light of the fact that it's a clear case of, of case law, vandalism is not a legitimate exercise of free speech rights. It's really irrelevant what the message is or what the content is. But then Nemo goes on to point out, children are not arrested for drawing on sidewalks with washable chalk, and citizens putting up signs for garage sales or private businesses in public common areas are rarely arrested or prosecuted. So this looks like a case of the city going after and protecting the big banks and then not allowing it to be a case of First Amendment. Uh, we go now to this clip where you can actually hear 
From the words himself, Jeff Olson, on the horrible things he wrote on the sidewalk. A North Park man is looking at more than a decade behind bars for using washable chalk to protest the banking industry. I wrote, no thanks, big banks. Um, I wrote, shame on Bank of America. For Olson, it was about free speech. In light of the fact that it's clear from the case law that vandalism is not a legitimate exercise of free speech rights, it really is irrelevant what the message is or what the content is. It's irrelevant because I'm most likely funded by Bank of America or cronies in that system. Uh, did I just say that? I don't actually know if the judge in question, his name is Howard Shore, has any connections to big banking or big business. But I wouldn't be surprised. We actually ran a special about that, how judges are sponsored like NASCAR drivers by giant companies because they don't make enough in their salaries that we pay. Um, so they have to be sponsored by giant corporations. <clears throat> now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show.